हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माई क्लास बर्ड्स ऑफ विस्टम सो इन दिस सेशन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द पॉम कीपिंग क्वाइट कंपोज्ड बाय पेब्लो नेरूडा द पॉम हैज बीन टेकन फ्रॉम क्लास ट्वेल्थ इंग्लिश बुक फ्लैमिंगो सो द पॉम इज एक्चुअली अ काइंड ऑफ कॉल फॉर इंट्रोस्पेक्शन फॉर ऑल ह्यूमन बींग्स ऑफ दिस अर्थ हु हैव डिवाइडेड दैम in the form of caste creed religion race nationalities and languages as well the poet actually presents before us a picture a kind of picture in which he actually wishes that people of all over the world must come together for some moments so that they could understand one another they could one understand one another's feeling they could respect others feelings we can say it is a kind of mental exercise he actually urges for a mental exercise in which people should maintain silence for some time people could be silent and still for some time so that during those moment people could see their own wounds their own hurt feelings and the feelings of others whom they have hurt unknowingly and deliberately and sometimes deliberately so let's start our class but so wisdom keeping quiet stanza 1 now we will count to 12 and we will all keep still for once on the face of the earth let's not speak in any language let's stop for one second and not move our arms so much so the poet or just to the readers and to the people of the world that for some time they should recite counting from 1 to 12 in their hearts and during those moments they should be absolutely silent so when the poet is saying that uh, all of you should count in your heart you should count from 1 to 12 so it is actually a kind of mental exercise as we do during uh, meditation meditation ke dauran ऐसा कहा जाता है कि मन में जब आप रिवर्स ऑर्डर में वन टेन टू ज़ीरो आप काउंटिंग करते हो तो उस दौरान आइज क्लोज करके जैसे हम मेडिटेशन करते हैं तो उसमें क्या होता है कि कई बार हमारा जो माइंड है डिस्ट्रैक्ट होता है लेकिन अगर आप रिवर्स ऑर्डर में फ्रॉम टेन टू ज़ीरो अगर आप काउंटिंग uh, करते हो तो ज़ीरो तक आते आते आपका जो माइंड है वो एकदम से साइलेंट हो जाता है ठीक है यानी कि जितने भी अदर एक्टिविटीज़ हैं हमारे दिमाग में घूमती हैं वो एकदम से स्टॉप हो जाती हैं और हम एक बिल्कुल एक नील एक मोमेंट ऑफ साइलेंस में पहुंच जाते हैं ओके तो पॉइंट जो है उसी मोमेंट की बात कर रहे हैं कि इस दौरान सारे लोग शांत रहेंगे और एक दूसरे को समझने के कोशिश करेंगे वी विल ऑल कीप स्टिल ऑल ऑफ अस वुड बी एब्सोल्यूटली साइलेंट ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड ऑफ टाइम दिस मोमेंट्स ऑफ टाइम फॉर वंस ऑन द फेस ऑफ द अर्थ कुछ क्षण के लिए इस पृथ्वी पर कुछ क्षणों के लिए इस पृथ्वी पर लेट्स नॉट स्पीक इन एनी लैंग्वेज कुछ क्षणों के लिए इस पृथ्वी पर हम लोगों में से कोई भी एक शब्द भी नहीं बोलेगा Let's stop for one second and not move our arms so much. Let's stop for one second and not move our arms so much. कुछ क्षणों के लिए कुछ सेकेंड्स के लिए हम सभी को रुक जाना है हम सभी को शांत हो जाना है और अपने हाथ पैरों को नहीं हिलाना है मीन्स टू से वी डोंट नीड टू इंडल्ज एनी काइंड ऑफ द एक्टिविटी ड्यूरिंग दीज moments okay so symbolically the poet wishes to say when he is saying let's not speak in any language as you know in this world the people have divided themselves 
on the name of religion caste creed and with that they have divided on the name of languages also कुछ लोग बोलते हैं कि हमारी भाषा बड़ी कुछ लोग बोलते हैं हमारी भाषा बड़ी मीन्स टू से उनको लैंग्वेज भाषा को लेकर के भी अनमरेबल आर्ग्यूमेंट्स चल रहे हैं ठीक है एंड बिकॉज ऑफ विच दे ट्राई टू हर्ट वन अनदर ओके सो दैट इज़ वाई द पॉइज सिम्बॉलिकली सेज लेट्स नॉट स्पीक इन एनी लैंग्वेज If nobody will speak any kind of language for some moments, these arguments would be stopped, and maybe in future such kinds of arguments never take place. Let's not stop for once. Let's stop for one second and not move our arms so much. Arms. Now, with this word arms, there is also a pun. The poet has used this word again. to present before us two meanings one arms as we know arms part of our body let's not move our arms he actually wishes to say for some time because people have been so much busy in their life and sometimes so much selfish that they actually don't see the feelings of others and they just keep on moving keep on moving keep on working sometimes for themselves and sometimes for their families but not for others okay so continuously they are busy and busy in different kinds of activities because of which they are not able to look others to look even themselves also okay second thing arms arms symbolically presents weapons also the another meaning of arms is weapon also so as you know weapons jo weapons hathiyar hote hain wo kabhi bhi is prithvi par positivity nahi la sakte hain wo sirf aur sirf dusron ko nuksan hi pahuncha sakte hain to kyunki kuch shanon ke liye har insaan shant rahega to un shanon ke dauran koi bhi apna hathiyar nahi uthayega kisi aur ko hurt karne ke liye ओके okay, तो इन क्षणों के दौरान कुछ पलों के दौरान पूरी पृथ्वी पर शांति होगी कोई भी किसी को हर्ट करने की कोशिश नहीं करेगा और एक दूसरे की फीलिंग्स को समझने की कोशिश करेगा यहाँ पर जो वर्ड है ट्वेल्व ये भी एक्चुअली सिंबॉलिकली रिप्रेजेंट करता है ट्वेल्व आवर्स ऑफ द डे ड्यूरिंग विच द पर्सन इज़ वेरी मच बिजी बिजी इन हिज वर्कस in his actions busy in harming the people of the world busy in spreading different kinds of pollutions noise pollutions water pollutions air pollution different kinds so every kind of pollution we can say he is busy during these 12 hours of the day second 12 actually symbolizes to 12 months of the year also okay so the poet wishes to say that uh, during these 12 hours of the day or we can say 12 months of the whole of the year he remains busy in different kinds of activities so during these moments of introspections he would be able to steal out some moments for himself for this meditation for introspection to understand himself to understand others let's move to the another para tensa it would be an exotic moment without rush without engines we would all be together in a sudden strangeness now in this extract the poet is presenting an imaginative picture that could be turned into reality he is saying it would be an exotic moment exotic exciting what an exciting moment it would be when people of all over this world would come together we will find all of them passing through the same moment same condition without rush without engines and in whole of the world there won't be any kind of noise pollution there won't be any kind of person roaming around outside and without engines means to say symbolically saying he is indicating the noise pollution 
there won't be any kind of noise pollution because of engines continuously running engines we would all be together in a sudden strangeness hum is puri prithvi ke jo log hain ek ajeeb se स्ट्रेंजनेस में एक साथ होंगे एक दूसरे से दूर होते हुए भी हम सभी एक साथ होंगे तो वो कौ कैसा एक्साइटिंग मोमेंट होगा कितना एक्साइटिंग मोमेंट होगा जिस वक्त हम जिस पल हम सभी लोग एक दूसरे से दूर होते हुए भी एक साथ होंगे इट वुड बी एन एक्साइटिंग मोमेंट विदाउट रश विदाउट एंजेंस we would all be together in a sudden strangeness so now this is the extract that really presenting the present situation of the world he is saying he before many years when he urged the people of this earth they didn't listen his voice now they will be able to understand what exactly he wanted to say he is saying it would be an exotic moment what an exciting moment it would be when we realize that no person in this world is active means active outside outside of their homes okay because he is actually requesting to the people to maintain silence for some moments so he is actually talking about all those moments and he is saying during those moments people will pass through a strange kind of experience they will realize that how how people of the world have been separated from each other one another still are together okay so that would be very strange kind of experience and there won't be any kind of rush people won't be gather at one place to kill the people or hurt the people and nature also okay without engines we would be all together he is saying without engine and now he is actually symbolically indicating noise pollution and during these moments there won't be any kind of noise pollution so we can see the first side of the poet he actually didn't like that people were harming the nature again and again and how they were hurting all human kinds on the name of the how they were fighting with the human kinds on the name of religion caste creed etc that is why he urged already urged the people of the world not to hurt this earth so much which may bring disastrous result okay so let's move to the next paragraph fishermen in the cold sea won't harm whales and the man gathering salt would look at his hurt hands see how beautiful is this extract he is saying fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales indirectly he is indicating to the animal slaughtering for some moments during these moments of silence no person of this world would hurt any animal of this earth and man gathering salt would look at his hurt hands person people of this world ab yahan par very emotional and very touching lines hai ye poet kehna chahte hain ki insaan apni jeevika kamane ke liye apne parivar ko palne ke liye din raat mehnat karta hai इतनी मेहनत करता है कि उसके पास इतना समय भी नहीं होता है कि वो अपने आप को देख सके उसने इस सारी अपनी ड्यूटीज़ को निभाने के दौरान उसने अपने आप को कितना हर्ट कर दिया है वो खुद को कितना नुकसान पहुंचा चुका है उसके पास इतना समय भी नहीं होता सो दी ड्यूरिंग दिस मोमेंट्स ऑफ इंट्रोस्पेक्शन ही वुड बी एबल टू लुक हिज हर्ट हैंड्स to look his wounds wo apne aap ko dekh payega apne ghavon ko dekh payega ki kitni mehnat karte karte usne apne aap ko kitna nuksan pahuncha diya hai there is one more symbolic meaning people because of jealousy hatred and violence they are trying to hurt one another they try to kill one another on 
in during all these process and in this process they even hurt themselves they don't have realization that while hurting others somewhere they have hurt themselves also there is no result of these kinds of wars these kinds of killings aur dusro ko nuksan pahunchate pahunchate usne khud ko kitna nuksan pahuncha diya hai uske paas ye dekhne ke liye bhi samay nahi hota hai to is wajah se ye jo moments honge introspection ke us dauran wo apne aap ko dekh sakega aur wo is baat ko samajh sakega ki wo sari negative activities jisme wo hamesha busy rehta hai usse sach mein kisi ka koi bhala nahi hoga on the contrary wo dusron ke sath sath unko nuksan pahunche ya na pahunche wo khud ko jaane kis had tak nuksan pahuncha dega those who prepare green wars wars with gas wars with fire victory with no survivor would put on clean clothes and walk about with their brothers in the shade doing nothing so war green war what is the meaning of green war a war between man and man a war between man and nature so who prepares for green wars means to say all those people who do preparations for harming this nature harming this mankind and try to invent such kinds of weapons by which all the humanity of this world all the people of this world and the nature of this world could be destroyed completely could be finished completely so those people who prepare such kinds of wars who are those people those in the first line the first word those to whom this word is actually indicating to to the politicians to the statements to the scientists who deliberately invent such kinds of weapons that could harm this nature and just to kill one another they develop and create or may we can say invent such kinds of weapons weapons of gas weapons of fires which actually are not going to give us anything but these people don't have a realization that such kinds of wars won't bring any kind of victory for them because there won't be anybody alive to celebrate the victory victory with no survivor that means there won't be anybody alive no single person won't be alive to celebrate this victory okay so there is no use of such kinds of wars that is why the poet says during these moments of introspection each person even the politician scientists statements every person would be able to be silent to look one another to look the wounds of one another and they would put clean cloth put clean cloth symbolically the poet wants to say when they would be able to see the pains of others emotions of others they would be able to start a new journey of their life they would realize that there won't be any kind of use of such kinds of wars there they these such kinds of war actually won't bring anything for them so they would put clean cloth means to say because they would be able to understand one another's emotions one another's feeling they would bring peace for all human kind next extract what i want should not be confused with total inactivity life is what it is about i want no drug with death now here the poet is actually clarifying himself he is saying people may misunderstand me when i am saying that everybody everything in this world must be silent but i want these moments only for some time people must not misunderstand me because life is about 
activity life is only an ongoing process it must never be stopped so he is saying what i want should not be confused main jo kuch bhi keh raha hu usse koi bhi person confuse na ho what uh, with total inactivity with total inactivity means to say i don't mean that people of the all over the world should be inactive always i want these moments only for a short period of time that doesn't mean that people must be inactive for always okay because life is what it is about life is an ongoing process it must never be stopped and it actually doesn't stop what i want to what i want no truck with death what i want no truck with death truck with death is actually an idiom that means the end of the life means to say i only want that people of this world must not be afraid of the death to the end of the life because that is the ultimate truth of life it will come to everyone but during these moments of introspection people will be able to take out these kinds of fears from their heart and from their mind of what i want should not be confused with total inactivity life is what it is about i want no truck with that now see in this extract the poet is actually trying to clarify himself because somewhere poet is feeling that people may misunderstand what he exactly wants to say people may misunderstand that i am saying them to be inactive for always no i don't want that person should be inactive for always because it is not necessary it is actually not a good thing to be inactive for always because life is what it is an ongoing process life is what it is about that means life is only meant to progress to continue so i don't want any kind of inactivity for always i don't want any permanent inactivity i'm not talking about any kind of permanent inactivity okay to life ko to chalte hi rehna hai wo to jeevan ka atal satya hai use hame rokna nahi hai mera sirf ye arth hai ki kuch kshanon ke liye insaan ruk jaye kuch kshanon ke liye wo inactive ho jaye silent ho jaye taki wo एक दूसरे को समझ सके ओके वॉट आई वॉन्ट नो ट्रक विद डेथ ही मीन्स टू से आई वॉन्ट नो ट्रक विद डेथ ट्रक विद डेथ इज एक्चुअली अन ईडियम द मीनिंग ऑफ विच इज द एंड ऑफ लाइफ ओके सो एंड ऑफ लाइफ दिस इज द अल्टीमेट ट्रूथ ऑफ दिस अर्थ एंड ऑफ एवरी ह्यूमन बींग लेकिन जो लोग होते हैं वो हर वक्त हर पल उसी मृत्यु से डरते रहते हैं वाइल इट इज द अल्टीमेट ट्रूथ ऑफ लाइफ ओके डेथ इज अल्टीमेट ट्रूथ ऑफ लाइफ स्टिल पीपल फेयर ऑफ द डेथ सो देर इज नो नीड ऑफ फेयरिंग डेथ द ओनली थिंग दैट वी रियली नीड टू डू वी ओनली हैव टू लिव अ पीसफुल लाइफ so the poet is saying i am only wishing for a peaceful life that is actually an elixir of the life jo jeevan ka amrit hai vastav avastavik amrit hai ek peaceful life okay main sirf us peaceful life ki baat kar raha hu jo hame sirf aur sirf inhi introspection moment ke dauran hi mil sakti hai next extract if we were no single minded about keeping our lives moving and for once could do nothing perhaps a huge silence might interrupt this sadness of never understanding ourselves and of threatening ourselves with death so in this concluding stanza the poet is saying if we were not so single minded single minded means to say the poet is saying if we have if we had not been so much conscious of only ourselves agar hum itne swarthi na ho 
कि सिर्फ और सिर्फ हम स्वयं के बारे में सोचें और दूसरे दूसरों के बारे में ना सोचें अबाउट कीपिंग आवर लाइफ मूविंग यानी हम दिन रात दिन रात चल रहे हैं दिन रात मेहनत कर रहे हैं लेकिन किसके लिए या सिर्फ अपने लिए या अपने परिवार के लिए हम दूसरों के लिए कुछ भी नहीं कर रहे हैं एंड फॉर वंस कुड डू नथिंग एंड कीपिंग आर लाइफ मूविंग मीन्स टू से वी आर ट्राइंग टू हर्टिंग अदर्स जस्ट टू अकम्पलिश आर ओन सेल्फिश मोटिव वी आर हर्टिंग अदर्स विदाउट थिंकिंग विदाउट थिंकिंग दैट देयर इज नो यूज ऑफ डूइंग सच काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटीज विच एक्चुअली आर नॉट ब्रिंगिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ हैप्पीनेस फॉर दैम सेल्स ओके सो we are actually living a life only for ourselves we are not thinking about others for once could do nothing perhaps a huge silence so during this a kind of we can say internal war he has forgotten to look after his own emotions to understand his own emotions because he has been so much busy that he has been somewhere emotionally very weak because he finds nobody to look after him he has actually made him isolated he has been isolated from the society which is actually day and night hurting him he is not able to look his emotions so that is why the poet is saying this huge silence may interrupt his inactivities yani ye jo huge sa silence ye jo introspection ke dauran meditation ke dauran jo silence hoga us dauran wo apne khud ke emotions ko dekh sakega ho sakta hai ye jo huge silence hai wo uski wo sari jo activities hai usme ek interruption le aaye aur us interruption ki wajah se wo apne aap ko dekh sakega ओके वी कैन सम वेयर रिलेट दिस सिचुएशन राइट नाउ वी कैन नोटिस बिकॉज एवरीबडी हैज बीन केस्ड वी कैन से एग्जैक्टली केस्ड ही कहेंगे एक तरह से वी हैव बीन केस्ड इन अवर होम्स दैट टिल नाउ पीपल वर एक्चुअली नॉट एबल टू अकम्पलिश देयर ड्रीम्स दे हैड एक्चुअली फॉर गॉटन अबाउट दउट देयर ड्रीम्स दियर विशेज वो अपने बारे में पूरी तरह से भूल चुका था तो हम देख सकते हैं कि आज इस लॉकडाउन के दौरान काफ़ी लोग ऐसे हैं जो अपने खुद की जो पर्सनल एक्टिविटीज़ हैं जो हमेशा से ही वो करना चाहते थे लेकिन कर नहीं पाते थे अपने बिजी स्कड्यूल की वजह से तो आज वो अपनी काफ़ी उन इच्छाओं को पूरा कर पा रहे हैं इन लॉकडाउन की वजह से है ना तो जो पोइट हैं वो एक्चुअली यही कंडीशन चाहते थे वो हमेशा रिक्वेस्ट करते थे लोगों से कि कुछ समय के लिए शांत हो जाओ एक मेडिटेशन करो कुछ मोमेंट के लिए सारे के सारे लोग इस पूरी दुनिया के जो लोग हैं एक ही समय में एक साथ इनएक्टिव हो जाएं क्योंकि इस दौरान अगर ऐसी कंडीशन होगी तो इस दौरान जो लोग हैं वो एक दूसरे को समझ पाएंगे और अपने आप को भी देख पाएंगे never understanding ourselves and of threatening ourselves with death threatening ourselves with death ka meaning kya hua ki hum hame apne andar hi andar jo mrityu ko lekar ke bar bar dar lagta tha wo dar bhi hame hamare man se hamesha ke liye samapt ho jayega let's move to the next extract perhaps the earth can teach us as when everything seems dead and later proves to be alive now i will count up to 12 and you keep quiet and i will go so now in this beautiful concluding extract the poet is saying perhaps the earth can teach us as when everything seems death dead and later proves to be alive the poet is saying that this earth proves itself that nothing in this world is permanent everything is ongoing lekin wo jo prithvi hai ye jo thoda sa kuch kshanon ka jo silence hoga wo hame ye sikha dega ki is prithvi par kisi bhi cheez ke liye hame permanent jo cheeze hoti hai kabhi bhi permanent nahi hoti hain wo hamesha hi chalti rehti hain is prithvi par 
भयानक से भयानक तूफान आए भयानक से भयानक गतिविधियाँ हुई इस तरीके की कंडीशंस आई कि ऐसा लगता था कि अब इस पृथ्वी पर शायद दोबारा जन्म ही निर्भर जन्म ही संभव नहीं है लेकिन ये पृथ्वी कभी भी नहीं हारी वो फिर से उठ खड़ी हुई और फिर से हर दिन नए पशुओं का जन्म हुआ नई प्रकृति का जन्म हुआ और ये पृथ्वी जो है हमेशा ही चलती रही यानी इसके जीवन में इस पृथ्वी के जीवन में कई तरीके की आपदाएं आई विपदाएं आई लेकिन ये पृथ्वी कभी नहीं हारी और जब सब कुछ खत्म होने के कगार पर था यानी कि जब सब कुछ साइलेंट हो चुका था उस दौरान उन कुछ पलों के बाद वो पृथ्वी भी वापस से जा खड़ी हुई तो इसी प्रकार से वो पृथ्वी हमको ये समझाना चाहती है कि इस दुनिया में कुछ भी परमानेंट नहीं है हर चीज़ टेम्प्ररी है ओके okay, तो ये जो टेम्प्ररी मोमेंट्स ऑफ साइलेंस होंगे टेम्प्ररी मोमेंट्स ऑफ इन एक्टिविटीज़ होगी उस दौरान इंसान एक दूसरे को समझ पाएगा और फिर से एक दूसरे के साथ उठ खड़ा होगा इस जिंदगी को एक साथ गुजारने के लिए एंड देन फाइनली से नाउ आई विल काउंट अप टू ट्वेल्व मैं अब तुम लोगों के लिए काउंटिंग करता हूँ वन टू ट्वेल्व और इस दौरान तुम सारे के सारे लोग जो हो वो शांत हो जाना सो दिस इज द ब्यूटीफुल पोम कंपोज बाय पेब्लो नेरूडा होप द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द चैप्टर इज क्लियर टू यू इफ यू अंडरस्टूड द चैप्टर प्लीज टू शेयर द लेसन विद अदर्स ऑल्सो एंड प्लीज डोंट फॉर गेट टू हिट द लाइक बटन मीट यू सोन With my next chapter till then goodbye take care happy learning